Hello, today we will be folding an origami magic ball designed by Cade Chan. This is one of the most well-known origami models on YouTube and in this video I will teach you how to fold this model with great detail. Many people believe that collapsing the water bomb bases is the hardest part of creating the magic ball. So to make this part somewhat easier, I will be demonstrating how to do this on a much larger scale. Okay, so let's pretend that this is the top edge of our model. That would mean that this is the top left corner of our model, and this is the topmost horizontal crease. So what I want you to do is hold the model straight up and down. Once you have it like this, along the topmost horizontal crease, we're going to fold it down so that the model is at a 90 degree angle. And for now, we're just going to look at the top. Now we're going to look at the vertical creases running up and down the model. So we're going to focus on this leftmost vertical crease and we're just going to skip the rectangle to the left of it. And we're going to go two segments to the right. And you'll notice that that makes a square and I have outlined it here and that is where we're going to collapse our first water bomb base. So to collapse our water bomb base we just want to make sure that these are all mountain folds surrounding the water bomb base and the two extending downwards past the water bomb base should also be mountain folds as well. So once you've done that, then you can hold the model back up like we had it before, and you can start to collapse your water bomb base along those X creases that we made before. So as you do that, you sort of just have to bring the model together. And I would, it would help by pushing this edge here out towards this edge here. So as you just pinch them together, then you can just pull it all nicely together. And these two flaps on the side, you can just flatten them out. And this one here, you'll notice that there's a diagonal crease. You can just fold that up too. So now we've done that, and we just want to move on to our next one. So make sure that the mountain folds are in the right places, so around the edge of the square and extending past it. And again, we just want to sort of pinch the edges towards one another, and it'll sort of just collapse itself. It actually is pretty simple. So now we're going to the next one. We're doing the same thing. We just pinch them towards one another once we know that the mountain folds are in the right spots. And then we just have these extra flaps at the end. We just push down and flatten on both sides and we should have something like this. Now your model will definitely extend longer than this. I just cut my model short so that I could demonstrate this in a closer view to you. So now what we're going to do is look at it from the side and we can sort of unfold these pleats, the mountain and valley folds, that we just created by collapsing the water bomb bases on the top row. So you're going to notice that you can see where the other water bomb bases would collapse too, and you can look at how I've outlined them here as well. And what you're going to do now is we're going to start our first water bomb base along with the edge. So we're not going to go over another rectangle. We're not going to start at one rectangle off the side. We're actually going to start it on the edge this time. So now what we have to do is we're just going to collapse the same way we did before. But now, if you'll notice, these mountain folds are going to reverse and turn into valley folds. And the valley folds are going to turn into mountain folds and so on. So every time you do a new row of water bomb bases, that will happen. So let's start with this first water bomb base. And you can, the more you unfold it, the easier it'll be to collapse. So just make sure that each side of the water bomb base is a mountain fold. It might be a bit strange to make that a mountain fold, but you can just do that as you collapse it as well. So now what you're going to do is just push in the edge and push in this part towards one another, and it'll almost just collapse itself. And you'll notice that this first row will become flat with it, and it won't be at a 90 degree angle anymore. So now we're going to continue to our next one, and you can see where I've outlined it here. We're just going to do the same thing. So we're going to collapse the water bomb base there as well. So make sure that they're mountain folds, and you can do that while you collapse. But we're going to collapse along the X. So to help you, I would push in along that middle mountain fold here. So you can just push in, and it almost pops and it's pretty much set up for you already and you can just pull the edges in towards one another and it'll collapse 
and then you go to the next one and do the same thing. So just pop it, bring both edges towards one another, and then make sure that the sides are mountain folds once again. And then there's one more, so we're just doing the same thing. Just pop it in the middle, and then you can just collapse. And from the side, it'll look something like this. Now you're going to repeat the same technique until you reach the bottom of the model. I will show you what your model should look like as you create each new row of water bomb bases. This is what the model will look like after you've completed one row of water bomb bases. Please make sure that you've created your first water bomb base all set one rectangle from the edge of the paper. This is what the model should look like after you've completed two rows of water bomb bases. There should be two triangles on both sides from the water bomb bases that we've collapsed and you should see a long row of pleats like this that we haven't collapsed water bomb bases out of yet. And also note that on this second row of water bomb bases we started our first water bomb on the side of the edge of the paper. We didn't skip over an extra rectangle to do this. We started it right on the edge. Now on the next row we're going to offset it one more. We're going to offset it one rectangle from the edge so it's like the first one that we did. So you're just going to alternate between back and forth all the way until you get to the bottom of the model. This is what the model will look like after you've completed three rows of water bombs. There should be three triangles on both sides, so you should see three triangles that have been created using your water bomb bases. This is what it should look like underneath, and you should still have that strip of pleats that we will soon turn into water bomb bases. And now for that last row, we should have started off one rectangle from the side, and on this next row, we're going to start it directly on the edge. This is what the model should look like after you've completed four water bomb bases. Again, there should be four triangles on either side. So however many rows of water bomb bases you've completed, that's how many triangles you should see on the side. And again, there's this long strip. You should still have a long strip. It's definitely getting shorter each time. And that, that last time, we should have started right on the edge. That first water bomb base should have been right on the edge there. So this one is going to be offset. One more, so we're just going to keep alternating until we get to the end. This is what the model will look like after you've completed five rows of water bomb bases. There should again be five triangles on either side, and this strip here continues to get shorter. So this next row we're going to start the water bomb base right on the edge, because that last row we started one off from the side. So continue to do this until we get to the end. This is what the model should look like after you've completed six rows of water bombs. And now for this next row, we're going to start offset one rectangle from the edge, so right over here, because the last one we did was directly on the edge. So now there's only two more rows of water bombs left to do before the collapsing of this model is complete. This is what the model should look like after you've completed seven rows of water bomb bases. Now there's only one more row left, and on this last row we're going to start directly on the edge for the first water bomb base. This is what the model should look like after you've collapsed all of the water bomb bases. It should look like this on the top, and this on the bottom.